Hi, hello, hi. I've tried to film this intro five times now. Excuse any sort of rustling that you hear. When I'm sitting here, the microphone is pointing directly at my rat cage, so there are probably gonna be some ratty sounds, as you could see. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So today, I'm going to try tattooing for the first time. Somebody sent me a tattoo machine off of Amazon, and they sent me... Um, tattoo practice skins as well, and I've been wanting to try it for a long time But I told myself I would only try it on camera because I wanted you all to be here for this first experience But I'm very hard on myself, and I also Deal with a lot of executive dysfunction as you know and executing this video involved a lot of executive function <laughs> It was just a lot so I'm very proud of myself to even just have gotten to this point at least I'm filming the intro at least that's something <laughs> So hopefully my landlord won't mind the sound of the tattoo machine, hopefully it won't be too loud. But without further ado, let's do this. I would do an unboxing, except I have no idea what I'm taking out of the box. So this is Dragon Hawk Tattoo Supply. These things, LED power supply. Here are the inks. Just letting you know before we get into this, from what I understand, these inks are not safe for use on your body. I don't have nearly enough confidence in my tattooing ability to tattoo on my skin. So we're gonna start with the test skins and see how that goes. Ugh. I love peeling the little stickies. What else do we have in here? More skins, cool. And they have like tattoo designs on it already so you can practice tracing. That's pretty awesome. Wow, I probably should have set all this stuff up before I filmed. Ooh, this is a really pretty color. It's teal. How, uh, how, how? Damn, why would they not give you instructions? Where do I put this? What, how do you even plug this in? <laughs> The pl help me. All right, no, this this looks like a potato clock. Like for real? This, what kind of science did I do? I look like I signed up for science? No. Okay, I googled it and I found a YouTube video and it is going much better now. We next need to install our nipple or grommet. A nipple is a small rubber component, a little tighter than nipples do. The more pliable. I feel it like ever so slightly vibrating, but not quite. I don't know what I'm doing. I spent 20 minutes trying to set this up, but nothing happened. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's not going to annoy my landlord at all. Okay, so... Oh, oh no, oh no, the nipples, they're everywhere. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this practice sheet that's provided with the nice little dragon on it. My cat's complaining, but there's no way I'm letting him in this room. It's not safe. He's very emotional about being left out. I just, I just want it to be quieter. Hi, welcome to Aaron Experiments. Honestly, I don't want to deal with this dragon. I just want to go straight to using the skin. Give me the flesh. It's the eye of the tiger. Beep, 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 beep. Am I supposed to do something? It doesn't really make a mark. You're supposed to do something with the water? Ooh, ooh. That was cool. I dipped it in the water and it just... Ooh, look at that. It just spreads. Oh, that's... Lovely. Tonight's gonna be a weird night. Tonight's gonna be a weird night. Oops, I made a mess. Hi, welcome to Aaron's Tattoo Parlor. Trust me with your skin. We are going to try to draw a flower. This is a complete mess. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm trying a thicker needle. Where are all my nipples? At least now you get to see me set up a needle because the first time I was just following a YouTube. Oh. oh, man, this is hard to get in. Oh, okay, there, it's in. Sounds like my first time using a prosthetic. And we're gonna continue with our beautiful flower. Sorry, I'm trying to keep this straight so you can see what I'm doing, but it's very hard to keep this in one direction. You light up my world like nobody else. Okay, let me try and make a lemon. That's almost a straight line, right? That's uh, kind of a lemon, right? But what happened if we use some yellow? Yeah, that is 100% mixed with black ink. Also, I should probably be using a shader for that. Okay, before I go to the shaders, let's try one more thing. Give me a little skelly. Oh, 
Let me try to write something. Like, let me let me try my hand at calligraphy, even though I'm already a bad calligrapher um, to begin with. Great. Uh, we did it. There you go. I could tattoo be soft on you. And maybe this one little skull boy. Hello, I am so lonely. So bonely. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, help me. Now, let's try the other needle. And we're gonna try adding some color to this. Oh good, it's louder than the other one. So glad. Maybe it's just because of the fact that it's rubber, but that doesn't look like shading, you know? Oh, the little screw here on the side already got loose. This little guy here is supposed to go in this tube, and it's held by these little keys. Oh, I think now I made this thing too tight. God damn it. We're just having a rough day today, folks. Okay, tighten that up. Or drop it. All right, let me get a, a fresh flesh. This is our first piece of skin. Hi, would you like a tattoo off my flashy? Let's try another piece of skin. Where's my pack of flesh? I wonder if there's a right and wrong side to these. I think it goes without saying that this isn't my best work. I'm just trying to draw this quickly. So I have a basic something to follow. I guess I'm mischief. Shit. Oh no, ah, the rest of my drawing. Shit, that was a terrible idea. Okay, we're not gonna do that again. Oh, I think I realized the trick. The longer you stay in one place, like the longer it takes you to make the line, the darker the line is. And if you move fast, it does that gradient thing. Oh, well, I hope most of that got recorded. Didn't realize it turned off. I think that's it. I think I'm good for now. It is pretty late at night. It is 10, 20 p.m. So out of respect for uh, my landlord, I'm going to stop this video here. So this is where we started and here's where we are now. It's still, <laughs> still not great. Definitely still not great, but it's better. Uh, Sorry about my cat. I'm hoping I could try this again one day in the daytime. Hopefully when my landlord isn't home so that I don't have to worry about all the noise I'm making. I mean, I have all this, have all this skin and I would love to give this another shot. It definitely helps to have drawn something beforehand and not just try to freehand it because you can't really see what's going on. Oh, oh no, I'm making it worse, huh? You can't really see what's happening while you're using the needle sometimes because the ink comes out and then you're like, I don't know if I'm where I'm supposed to be. So it makes you stop a lot more often. Whereas if you're just following a line, it helps because you already kind of know where you are. Sorry about my cat screaming the entire video. Uh, he has no respect for other people's boundaries. That's it for now. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you'd like a part two where I try to actually make a full drawing this time instead of just testing out the tattoo machine if I try to actually make like a finished piece. That might be cool, especially if I make it bigger and have it take up like the whole sheet. Let me know if that's something you'd be into and uh, yeah, I'd be happy to do it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and a great week and you take care of yourselves. All right, thanks. Bye.